Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Worldwide, there are so many food traditions attached to Easter, like sweet bread. A lot of them are baked for this particular holiday, like the Spanish Mona de Pascua, the Greek Toriki, or Mazanec from Czech. The Bulgarian Kuzunak is another delicious one. Now here's a similar bread from the UK. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my hot cross buns. These little guys are so delicious. My version is slightly different from the traditional ones, but nonetheless, it's an Easter favorite at home. So create new tradition with your family by baking this lovely sweet bread. So my friends, let's get cooking. In the bowl of a stand mixer, we'll add active dry yeast, warm milk between 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and honey. Guys, I have a great trick when handling sticky ingredients. So check it out by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. We'll stir and let it proof for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, in a large bowl, we'll add flour. I'm using unbleached all-purpose, but you can use bread flour instead. Then ground cinnamon, some allspice, ground nutmeg, ground sea salt, and ground ginger. Not a lot, just a little. We'll whisk the ingredients until very well blended and set aside for now. So, 15 minutes later, our yeast should look like this. Nice and foamy. To this, we'll add some room temperature unsalted butter, a lightly beaten egg at room temperature as well, pure vanilla extract, and granulated sugar. Now this is what I like to add, sultanas. If you can't find any, use raisins or currants. Both are great substitutes. Then mix candied peels, which you can get the recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen, and some orange zest. Next, we'll mix the ingredients on medium speed using the paddle attachment. It works better. When this is done, we'll switch the attachment for the dough hook and then add half of the dry ingredients. We'll process on low speed until somewhat blended before adding the rest of the dry ingredients. We'll process again on low at first, then increase to medium speed, stopping to clean the sides of the bowl as needed. The dough is heavy so it won't really cling around the hook, but it will pull away from the sides of the bowl. We'll drop the dough on a lightly floured work surface and knead it for about two minutes. If there are little guys who try to escape, stick them back into the dough. <laughs> when this step is done, we'll form a ball by pulling under. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll place it in a lightly greased bowl and swirl it around to coat. We'll cover with a clean dish towel and transfer the bowl to a draft-free area such as the oven with the temperature up. We'll let it rise for one and a half to two hours or until it doubles in size. When your kitchen is cold like mine was when I filmed this, I explain what to do on the blog, so take a look. A couple hours later, we'll remove it from its draft-free spot and drop the dough back on our work surface. We'll divide it into 12 equal pieces, or if you want them smaller, try making 15 pieces with it. And we'll form small balls by pulling under. We'll place them pretty close together on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper overhanging on the sides so it makes it easier to take the buns out when they're baked. You'll see later. We'll cover the buns with the same clean dish towel and transfer them back to its draft-free area, 
making sure the towel is not tucked under. This time, we'll let them proof for one hour or until they double in size. About five minutes before the proofing time is done, we'll make the mixture for the crosses. In a small bowl, we'll add flour and start with six tablespoons of water. We'll stir until it turns into a paste. Not too thick and not too thin. See, it's not quite there yet, so we'll continue adding a little bit of water until we get this consistency. This is exactly what we're looking for. We'll spoon the mixture into a Ziploc. It's not necessary to use a piping bag, plus it's much cheaper using this. We'll snip off a small piece at the corner of the bag and pipe a line down the center of the bonds. Then we'll do the other direction, creating a cross. We'll transfer to a 400 degree preheated oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until light golden brown, turning the baking sheet halfway through baking. While they are baking, we'll make the glaze. In a small bowl, we'll combine confectioner's sugar with freshly squeezed orange juice and we'll stir until blended. Now, when the buns are done, we'll remove from the heat and brush on or glaze while they're still warm. This will give a nice shine to them. I didn't mention it earlier, but another option for the glaze is using corn syrup. Melt it and brush on the buns. Next, we'll grab the edges of the paper and slide it onto a wire rack to cool off. See how easy it is? And that's it. And my friends, these are our hot cross buns. This homemade recipe is so easy to make. The buns are flavorful and you can add your own touch to them by changing the type of fruits. These dance buns are perfect to serve for Easter. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cupfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!